Hello everyone, I'm back and today we are building the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Now, before I get into my usual chatting, I just wanted to say that obviously this build, it is just a weird coincidence that I built this this week. Um, I built this before the events in Baltimore. Um, and like I say, it's just, it just a weird coincidence that it was this week that I built this. Um, I just felt like I needed to say that because obviously it's very big in the news at the moment and yeah, I just felt like just needed to start with that before we carried on. Now, the Clifton Suspension Bridge, I don't know if, or like who's heard of it, seen it, whatever, but it is it's a really, really cool bridge and it is in Bristol. It's basically the symbol of Bristol, I would say. It's so famous. It's in like, you know, any pictures you see of it, the city or, um, you know, like postcards or anything like that. Artwork is probably going to have this bridge in it. And most likely it's probably going to have some hot air balloons as well <laughs> going over it. So, yeah, it's a pretty iconic bridge. And I just thought it'd be quite cool to build something a bit different and I I don't know I'm just really feeling seeing what we could do in the sims you know like could we make it work you know and fingers crossed we do so yeah this bridge is pretty old it wasn't it was open in 1864 so quite a long time ago now and it was designed by a man called Isambard Kingdom Brunel who is obviously a very renowned engineer. He's designed lots of different things. Um, obviously, not just in Bristol. Although there's quite a few things like the SS Great Britain. And I know he did a lot of work on like the railway as well. So, yeah, pretty big deal. Um, but he actually sadly passed away before it was opened and finished. Which I think is really sad. But yeah, so... and. A little fun fact, I mean, is it a fun fact? I don't know. It's a bit of a fun fact. Um, my YouTube name, channel name, is actually kind of like from, from his name, if that makes sense. Um, and not because I think I'm a renowned engineer. <laughs> that is for sure. Um, it's a funny little story. Basically, my actual name is... I mean, it's not, it's not really that similar to Isambard, but it basically starts with the same letter. Um, but my sister, when we were younger, just thought it'd be funny to just call me Isambard. She just thought, you know, because it was a name that she'd seen. And yeah, just thought it'd be kind of funny to call me that. And so that just kind of stuck a little bit and then just put a Y on it, Isambardy, just to make it, I don't know, it's just what happened. And so, yeah, I thought, you know what, this kind of works when I started my YouTube channel. I thought this, this kind of works because, you know, he's linked to designing things, building things. But like I say, <laughs> I'm in no way comparing myself to him, but just, I don't know, it kind of worked with the building aspect, right? So there we are. That's a little, a little fact for you. But yeah, uh, this bridge, I mean, obviously in The Sims, we are limited to like obviously it's not to scale it would be like much bigger much longer and I'm building this on you know the biggest lot I could build it on <laughs> and I felt like it fitted because obviously we've got a lot obviously this is in Windenburg and we've got all the water around us so it kind of made sense because obviously this bridge is going over a river where and the water would obviously go all the way out to sea so it just kind of made sense to build it where there's water around just so it's not so like, here is a bridge out of nowhere with some water. But yeah, um, it does just kind of like end. Like just, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't, obviously in real life, this bridge goes somewhere. It's a road, so it, you know, you can keep going. But in The Sims, it just kind of ends at the edge of the hill. So that's a little bit strange. You've got to kind of like look past that a little bit, you know. Um... 
I just wanted to kind of capture the like essence of it, really. Do you know what I mean? And your Sims can go on this bridge, or though you'll see I forget to put steps up for quite a long time, but your Sims can go on this bridge and, yeah, you know, like just kind of sightsee or whatever, like look across the water. It's quite nice, you know. But obviously in terms of the Sims, for it to be like functionality of the lot, I I do make a couple of they're very small houses, which you'll see later on. Um, so just to make this lot a rental residential lot type. But it could also be a national park, which I felt like that kind of worked too, you know. So you can kind of use it how you want. I just thought it would be quite a nice idea for if you wanted to, like, have your sim live somewhere like this. It would be quite sweet. You could, you know. So that's why I felt like I'd put a couple of buildings. I mean, obviously in real life that is the whole of the city of Bristol, like, just kind of on the right. So on the, the side we're working on now, like, all down there would be, like, houses and buildings and, yeah, that's just kind of, like, the, the edge of Bristol almost. I don't know. How... <laughs> so there's, like, a whole city down there, but obviously I couldn't fit all that in. So I just put a few just to give it the, you know, the vibes. Just give it that, like, feeling. And you'll see I keep faffing around with these roofs. Now, that's only because I did that trick where you do like a half wall. And then to put a roof on a half wall height, you have to use like, you have to bring a wall up to the height you want it to be or a room up to the height you want it to be because the roof will clip to that room. A roof won't clip to a half wall room, if that makes sense. And then you drag the roof over. And basically every time I did subtle things, the roof would disappear. So I just you'll see for a long time I have this like floating roof off in the corner just ignore that that's just kind of like my spare roof to like bring across if I ever lose the roof if that makes sense so yeah so just ignore that like kind of floating roof with a mini wall a mini like a one tile room that's just for like like I said if I ever if the roof disappears I can just like drag one across really easily I don't have to like make it again and then measure it up to the right height so yeah now what I'm working on is the kind of I don't know what you'd call this but I mean it's just like the structure of the bridge I don't know it's I use some pieces from the cats and dogs pack I think it is it's it's the ramps that I think go down to like the water from boats or from the little maybe kind of harbour area yeah that I think they could be in the harbour area in Brindleton Bay they were kind of like the best pieces to use I felt like originally I thought maybe I could use some roof pieces but I don't know they didn't really work that well so I ended up settling on these ramps like I say the only thing is in real life the roof the these kind of pieces go really really low so they go they meet in the middle of the bridge, but right at the, like, the road, if you see what I mean. So right at the bottom of the, they go all the way down, then all the way back up. But I just didn't have the space to do that. Obviously in The Sims, like, I, there isn't enough space. Like, obviously the pieces could have kept going, kept going, kept going. I could have kept putting more and more, but there just isn't, there just wasn't there enough width, basically, on this lot. So, yeah, so I couldn't quite recreate that, but I felt like this worked well and then you'll see that I put I used debug little almost like poles from just from base game to make the kind of I don't know what you call it but like basically you know like the sticks that you'll see that join the bridge to the ramp pieces I put down and you'll see I just kind of like skipped doing that I showed <laughs> I showed myself doing a few of them and then I just fast forwarded once they're all done because that was tedious let me tell you and I didn't think that you would enjoy watching me put all those pieces up with the nine key it was <laughs> it took a long time <laughs> but I was determined because I felt like it needed to be done to well create that vibe you know and I also put lots of lights along it as well which you can't see because I always think as well with this bridge is really well lit up at night so I don't know it just looks really spectacular and they have 
all those, I'm just going to call them six guys. I'm not, I'm going to be honest, I don't have the lingo for this, but those like six, they're all like lit up. So I put a few of just the small, you know, just the small lights, like spotlights. I put a few scattered in the sticks <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. It kind of works. It's, it, it gives, it, it gives it like a glow, like in that bit. I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. But anyway, yeah. So that's a little addition. And you'll see, I also use the, I think they're more, they're not meant to be like toll booths. It's more just an entry and exit because it comes with the Get Famous pack, I think. So maybe for, I think it's meant to be for where obviously celebrities can come in and out or to go to set to film, I think. Anyway, the studio, you know. But I thought it looked quite good as a toll booth in this instance, just because it's got those like arms that go up and down <laughs> to let you in or out because it is a toll bridge. I don't know how to, <laughs> like you have to pay to go on it. Well, to drive on it. Although I don't know if you do any more. I can't remember if that changed, but I'm pretty sure you still do. But you can just walk on it, but to drive on it, you've always had to pay not very much, but but yeah. Just to help the upkeep of it, you know? And then you'll see I also put those ramps just kind of sticking out from the other side of the bridge towers as well, like the bridge entrances. Because again, in real life, they keep going down all the way to the ground. But obviously, again, the lot just cuts off. So I couldn't do anything. So I do end up taking those off just because I felt that they looked a little bit silly just floating like that, not going anywhere. But yeah, so just trying to make it work, you know, just trying to see like how much we can do in The Sims. Can we make something like this work? I have to say I really enjoyed it because like I say, it's doing something very, very different and just like uses your creativity a bit more like to think of how you can do certain things and create a certain look and it did make me think like I was now hear me out guys I don't know what you think about this as an idea I really don't know but I was thinking after doing this maybe like we could do something like landmarks or something I don't know not not big massive landmarks maybe just well-known places or places of interest that would be quite interesting to try and build on the sims i don't know if that'd be like a fun series because i did really enjoy this and like i said it is just doing something quite different and although maybe it's not like the most functional thing to have in your game <laughs> it's just kind of fun to do and you know if you want it in your game then great you know like just as a different type of lot to have or if you, you want your sims to live on a little harbour side, that'd be really sweet. So yeah, but let me know what you think about that idea, guys, because I was just thinking it could be kind of fun, you know? Now, I do spend a long time placing trees. <laughs> um, I do this on the other side of the water as well. I, it's just, especially, so on the left side, like it is very just greenery everywhere. And... What's great is that I've just kind of, obviously that's all sloped down and by putting just loads of trees and things, they slope down too, but you don't have to really worry about the trunks being flat to the ground because you can't really see. It's just kind of like bushy and it's just supposed to be, make it look a bit more of a natural hill rather than obviously having just that default terrain that that you get when you do the steep slopes which is really annoying it's so annoying isn't it that you can't color in the steep steepest slope on the sims you know so yeah obviously it'd be greenery anyway so it works but yeah i kind of like that you can kind of get away with not you know having to put the trunks in the ground fully because you can't see it really unless you're really really going close you know and then on this right side, like I said, is much more, or well, this is where the city is. So like I said, there would be many houses here. Obviously the hill would be higher. So they'd all be kind of staggered up the hill. 
And then there's this road that goes round underneath the bridge and off to the right as well that the river would keep going and there's like a lot of boats and there's a nice harbour side that goes all the way along. So again, couldn't really fit all that in. It's crazy how like a little you can fit in when you build something that's big, (laughs) if that makes sense. Like this is a huge lot. And if I just built a house, you know, one house, even if it was a big house, it would, it would, there would be so much space around it. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. It'd be so hard to fill. But when you try and make something much bigger, immediately there's just, it's just like, where's all the space? You know what I mean? It just feels crazy that I couldn't fit in more, if you know what I mean. But I guess the water and everything, it takes up a lot of space. So there we are. So yeah, I just put um, a couple of houses. They're just very small. They are both one bed houses. They're basically the same layout, um, slightly different, you know, like furniture. And then that's sort of the one story building. It's just a very, very small cafe. Again, just because I wanted to... I wanted to put something there. I wanted it to feel like, you know, there is there is things going on here. But like I said, I couldn't fit too much in. So that's what we did. And I actually, I don't show the interiors for these buildings just because I just didn't feel like that was needed. I mean, I put screenshots in at the end, but obviously they're so small. They're really small. Because that's the other thing. They're like kind of, they're not fully sized buildings because like I said to fit them in they just kind of had to be what they were so I didn't feel like they necessarily needed to be shown this was more about obviously just the lot like the whole lot the like exterior of this whole lot rather than those individual buildings so I didn't show the interior but like I said there are screenshots at the end if you're interested in seeing but they're very simple because they're really small so yeah and then yeah I'm just this is just kind of I don't know it's hard to say really it's just kind of like I said it's just sort of where the harbour sort of starts and there is this area where boats can run off into the water and there's also a lock there as well so yeah, it's just, again, just, just taking snippets of what's there in real life and just kind of making it fit in this space that we have and what we have in The Sims. So, yeah. We have also, exciting news, laid the floor back down in our house. We are confident we fixed the leak, so we've laid the floor back down, but... Yeah, still a little bit apprehensive. Going to keep checking a lot <laughs> to make sure it doesn't creep up on us again. But it's quite nice to have um, floor back and not have to step around like certain areas and things. And because it was in the main bit of our kitchen, so like where we like cook, it was kind of a bit precarious cooking and is right near the oven and things so you kind of had to balance that and try not to drop anything (laughs) where there's no floor so yes we have put the floor back down and hopefully fingers crossed it'll be okay a bit of drama really actually we had um a tradesman come around someone who did work for us like a while ago just to look at something like really small and yeah, they, my, I don't know if this happens a lot in the trade world, but yeah, they just had a big falling out with someone that they were working with before who like we knew as well. And it's just, yeah, it just feels like a bit crazy, like how they could be working so closely together and then something really small, they're just, they fall out over even they've done all this good work together do you know what I mean I don't know I guess these things must happen because obviously like things happen in like building and 
all the different aspects of it can't control everything so yeah but it's just interesting they were telling us all about it and yeah it's just like I don't know it's just a world I just don't just that just not aware of you know who knew so much ins and outs you know it's not straightforward but yeah, so I've just put a little bit of detail back on to the houses because I, yeah, I put a little bit on now, but I do do a lot more later once I kind of get a feel for what the buildings are going to be. Kind of just wanted it to look like, I don't know, kind of sweet before I started putting on all the trees on the other side of the bridge so that it wasn't just like, loads of trees on both sides but I actually I start I start going crazy with the trees and on the on the right side and I totally forget that I haven't put any way to get up to the top of the bridge like it takes me a long time to realize this um to the point where I've completely I completely cover the hill in trees and then like have to delete a load and make make some steps up but it was quite cool actually because I don't know, like, the steps are hidden around the back and it feels like a kind of... I mean, it's not a hike. It's just going up a load of steps, but it's a nice little activity for your sims to do, which is why I didn't want it to just be a residential rental lot because, I don't know, like, you might not necessarily want to have your sim live here. And that's why I kind of gave the top little area here on the right somewhere where your sims could like hang out or whatever so making it like a national park i could have made it a park but you need quite a lot of things for a park to be a park <laughs> or to be like an official <laughs> park lot type so and i knew i just wouldn't be able to fit it all in so in the end i just went with the national park which again i think it works because it's kind of like a you know a landmark so it's kind of i don't know i feel like it fit But yeah, so I do, f I feel like in real life as well, like this is the side, like I said, where there is like an observatory and it is the side where the city is. So it is where people go to, you know, there's those benches and places to sit and you can look out over the bridge. So yeah, it kind of makes sense that I made it have like a kind of lookout area. You know what I mean? So you'll see now when I'm putting these trees, like just how small the houses are, like they're not they're not big at all. Even though they look big, it's really strange. Like see, when I first put them down, I was like, oh, these are really big. But actually when you go inside, they're not that big. The downstairs is all open plan. So yeah, I definitely couldn't fit any more in. But yeah, so you'll see I'm confidently covering this side in trees and now grass and have put nowhere <laughs> for the sims to be able to actually get on the bridge so yeah again like i still haven't realized now i've I've gone away from it i still haven't realized and the other thing actually which is a little bit strange is i i start to put a lot of rocks down like i, I mean i cover the whole of the bottom of this like where the water where the water meets the land i cover it in rocks because that makes sense to me but I also put a lot of rocks um under the bridge so where you'll see at the moment like if you can spot um on the left side of the bridge directly underneath the bridge at the moment there's just the default terrain I haven't put any trees there because there's a lot of rocks there there's not as it's not all trees on that side so I do go and like cover it in in rocks like I'm doing now I do that all up the that's that side to basically cover that default terrain even though the default terrain is rocks that's just not the same because they don't look like real rocks do they so I cover that in these little rocks and for some reason that footage is not in this video I'm not sure why but you will notice it, like I do a few and then I think I must have got really distracted by something else. I don't know I like go to do something else and I come back and do it but for some reason it's not in the video but you'll see at the end that there are lots of rocks there so it doesn't stay like that I promise on that 
default terrain. I also do something which I don't tend to do that often, and that is mixing different coloured rocks. I, I don't know, sometimes I feel like a lot, it looks a little bit strange, even though obviously in real life rocks are not all the same colour. Some of them will get weathered differently, you know, which is kind of what I was going with in this, because I didn't want them to look, because there are so many rocks, if I used the same rocks, it would, it would be really samey, 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 samey. Well, I think anyway. So I use a mixture of rocks because, like I said, I feel like, you know, they're not, they're not all going to look exactly the same. And it means they can be like different shapes and sizes. But yeah, I, do, I don't do it that often because like I said, they are, and they are such different colours. <laughs> it's like a really light grey and then a really dark grey. But I don't know, I, I'm, I'm hoping it makes it look a bit more natural, you know. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I cover this in little rocks. Having just said that I've been mixing up rocks, this side I do I do just use the same rocks. I think it kind of works because I need to use those small ones because obviously this is a very that's a very steep hill that yeah just using those rocks is the best way to go rather than like any of the debug ones because they'll just stick out and float and do you know what I mean? So they kind of work stacking on top of each other. But yeah, like I said, like I just, I do a few and then I, and then I think that must be when I realised, oh no, how do my sims get up to the top of the bridge? So I just stopped doing those rocks and I whiz round to make these lovely little steps. And then, yeah, I must go back to do the rocks, but for some reason, like I said, it's not, it's not, I don't know why. But anyway, so yeah, this side, I put this steps going all the way up behind so you can't really see them from the front which is quite nice feels kind of cute like walking up them takes a long time <laughs> i'll be honest but um yeah i think it, i think it works and obviously like i had to get rid of a lot of trees and then i put some back so this side is a little bit more questionable because obviously you do see some of the trunks but i think it's okay you know and i really struggled you'll see i really struggled to like make it I think because I'm doing it after the fact like I'm not and I've covered half of it in trees and I was like really reluctant to like delete everything and carve out the right you know like having a flat base steps flat base steps flat base steps so I just kind of was like really persevering um but yeah it worked out in the end guys it's fine it's fine but yeah I quite like it it's like nestled in the trees you know it's like ooh. I mean I know I called it a hike earlier, it's not a hike, but it does feel like, I don't know, be quite, maybe even a romantic thing to do, to climb those steps. But yeah, and then at the top there, I make a kind of, there's just like a toilet and pin it bench, barbecue area, and then a, I make a gap in the wall where the bridge is, so that your sims can just step on up to the bridge. Because again, I still, like, you see now, I <laughs> I put more grass down and I still was like, no, it's fine, I can put grass here, they can get into the bridge. They cannot get on that bridge. But now they can get on that bridge. And have a nice time up there, you know. So I've, you'll see that the houses have been changed a little bit, because I have now done the interiors of them like I said I haven't got that in this video just because I felt like it wasn't super super interesting um maybe none of the builders do you but <laughs> but yeah I don't know I just they're so small like I just felt like you know we'll leave those bits out you can look at screenshots if you like or download the download the lot if you would wish as well and I even sized down those cars can it like I don't know it's it's the cars are big in The Sims too, right? Like, proportionately. Like, next to that house, I was like, oh my gosh, this house is like... This car is the width of the house. I can't do that. <laughs> that would look too strange. So, yeah, I sized down the cars and that doesn't even look weird either. It's weird. The Sims can be so random sometimes. Like, what proportionally works, like, with each other, you know? And then I'm just... I just spend a little bit of time faffing, really, and putting in some finishes, touches, just to make it look... A little bit more finished, I want to say. 
and yeah make that look like a real pavement basically is the main one but yeah so i hope you like it guys been a bit of a different one this week and like i say let me know what you think about doing some other builds like this some maybe places like well-known places or like landmark type vibes but yeah let me know but that is it so i'll leave you some screenshots and see you in the next one bye